This video goes over question 10 of the rational functions assignment. Find the equations of any vertical asymptotes for the function below. So f of x equals x squared plus 3x over x cubed minus 25x. So if all we're interested in is finding the vertical asymptotes, we're going to factor the numerator and the denominator. So that gets me to x times x plus 3 over x times x squared minus 25. And then that will further factor to, in the denominator, doing the difference of two perfect squares, x plus 5 times x minus 5. So we have two factors that will cancel out between numerator and denominator. So that gives me alternate f of x which is x plus 3 over x plus 5 times x minus 5, but then we have to say x can never equal to 0. So our vertical asymptotes are going to be x equals negative 5 and x equals 5. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in, those answers in. Then we're going to come back and talk about other things in this uh, rational function. So x equals negative 5, x equals positive 5. Check answer, fantastic. And you can stop here if you want to, just go on to the next one. Or you can stay around and let's talk about horizontal asymptotes. So the horizontal asymptote as x approaches infinity, we're approaching x squared over x cubed, which is f of x approaches 1 over x. And as x gets really big, that approaches 0. So our horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. We've already talked about our two vert for our vertical asymptotes are x equals negative 5, x equals 5. So the, if I look at the alternate f of x, the 0 of the numerator gives me the x-intercept. So x plus 3 equals 0. x equals negative 3. So our x-intercept, and the calculator calls it a 0 of the function, is negative 3. And then our y-intercept, because we can never let uh, x equals 0, the y-intercept, there is no y-intercept. And then we will have a hole at x equals 0. So the hole is at 0 something. And the way we find out what that something is is evaluate the alternate f of x at 0. So that's 0 plus 3 over 0 plus 5 times 0 minus 5. So that's going to be 3 over negative 25 or negative 3 25th. So I've already graphed the function in my calculator. So here it is. We've got vertical asymptotes at x equals negative 5, x equals 5, horizontal at y equals 0. The x-intercept is at negative 3, 0, and there is no y-intercept because at 0, I'm undefined. If I want to use the calculator to find the y-coordinate of the whole, I can go to the palito math, use the limit as x approaches 0, tab through that little rectangle, go to my f1 of x, and I get negative 3 25ths. And that concludes this video.